In today's video, we're gonna be talking about three smells that instantly raise your vibration. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and hello if you're new, make sure you subscribe, and that way you'll never miss out on another video. Click the little bell, that way you're always notified every time I upload a video, because if you don't click the bell, you might not be notified, and you might miss out, and I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of this stuff. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about, you're probably wondering what this is. It's just some sage that I just picked from my tree, so I'm gonna put that down. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about about three scents, three smells that instantly raise your vibration to a higher frequency, to a higher vibration. Now, why would you want your vibration to be high? Like, how does this benefit you? When you are vibrating in a high frequency, this is when you start to attract things into your life that you want. So everything that you desire, everything that you think about, everything that you uh, want in your life, that you're trying to attain, these things automatically flow to you. These are, these are things that magnetically will be drawn to you when you're vibrating in a high state. When you're in a low vibration, in a low frequency, this is when you are not, you're, it's gonna take you longer to get to where you wanna go, um, things are not always gonna go your way, and this is when you're feeling mad and angry, sad, depressed, angry, oh, I said angry, <laughs> but like low vibrations is, negative feelings, uh, feelings like, you know, sadness, depression, anxiety, worry, stress, overthinking. These are emotions that put you in a lower frequency, in a lower vibration. And you want to always make sure that you're vibrating at a high frequency because you're, you will feel a difference in your lifestyle. You will feel a difference in your life, in your relationships, in your career, your finances. Everything will be affected when you start to vibrate at a higher frequency and the way that it's affected is an abundance of it will come. Now when you are in a low vibration, when you are worried or stressed or angry or whatever, um, I know that it's not always easy to just like snap back into a good mood. It's not that easy sometimes and sometimes you need the help of more natural things. I do have a video of three different kinds of tea that you could drink to raise your vibration um, and sometimes you just need natural things to bring your vibration higher. And the number one smell is roses. This is my favorite one to use. I have different kinds of ways to use them. I have rose petals here that I dried myself and then as you can see I go through it a lot so I need to dry some more and then I also have rose oil which I make myself at home. I do have a video which I will leave linked down below. Um, you guys can purchase your own rose oil or you can make it at home. And I also have my own rose spray. This has rose and sage in it and I have a DIY on this as well which I will leave linked down below. But I do sell my own. I do make my own and sell it because I have it infused with a very powerful mantra and I'm gonna put a clip of it right here on how I infuse it. <laughs> Not only is this infused with that mantra over a thousand times, but it also has a secret ingredient in here. And so that's why I sell my own. But if you're not interested in that, you can just make your own at home. So why are roses so good to lift the vibration? This is probably one of the strongest things that you could use to instantly lift your vibration. And it's because we as humans vibrate at a certain frequency and roses vibrate at a higher frequency than humans do. So what better way to naturally and instantly just lift your vibration with roses? You can use rose candles, you can use rose spray, you can use rose oil and just rub it all over your body, you can diffuse rose oil in your house, you can use rose petals, sprinkle, sprinkle it around your room, use it as decoration, um, you can use rose tea, you can drink rose tea, you can also put rose oil or, or rose petals inside of a candle, but just make sure you don't leave the candle unattended because you are burning rose petals, um, and it just infuses the air with the energy of the rose. So there's so many different ways that you can use this. You can also put roses like in your home, in your bedroom, um, the the visual like aspect of you seeing the roses as well as the energy that it carries and the scent that it gives off is going to be so powerful in your everyday life. The scent uplifts the energy and invites and invokes loving energy. Now the higher that you vibrate, the better your mood, the better your state of mind, the better your relationships, um, and just your overall health is better when you're vibrating at a higher state. It has a very calming and loving energy. The second scent that I love using because this scent 
is actually like when I smell it, it it makes me think of happiness more than like roses is orange. So you can use oranges, you can use orange peels, you can use orange oil like I use here. And if you happen to find orange um, incense, that's even better too. Um, you can use orange tea. Uh, you could actually put this in water and spray it all over your house. You can diffuse this. You can put it in a candle so that it warms the oil up and diffuses it into the air, but don't leave the candle unattended. You can just rub it in your hands and rub it on your body. These have very happy and uplifting energy. Like just the scent of it instantly lifts your mood, instantly lifts your vibration. Like you can feel it. Wherever you put the rose oil or the rose spray, it cleanses and energizes that area. It cleanses it away of any negative emotion or, or energy that was over there. It, the oranges like cleanse that away and replace it with the energy of happiness and joy. Oranges also attract happiness and abundance. Uh, and wealth and prosperity. It's known to invite these things into your life. It's a very high energy scent and it's known to calm chaotic thoughts. When you, when you calm your thoughts, that's when you can allow better thoughts to come inside of your mind because if you don't even try or if you're not even willing to let go of these chaotic, worrying, anxious thoughts in your mind or relax it or shut it down, um, then you're not making room for the better thoughts or the you know positive thoughts inside of you so this is something that really helps you calm those thoughts down and it also kind of switches the thoughts into something better uh, what you could also do is dry your orange peels and kind of use that as potpourri is that how you say it but you could like put that in a cute little vase and like put it in your bedroom uh, as long as the scent is giving off that orange scent you can keep it and throw it away when it's done and the third scent that instantly lifts your vibration is sage not everybody will like the scent of sage I personally love the scent now I have here ground up sage that you can get at your grocery store in like the herb section or the spices section. And then I also have a sage tree in my backyard that I clipped a little bit right here to show you guys. You can use the leaves, you can use sage bundles, you can use um, dried sage, fresh sage, you can use sage oil, you can use sage incense. There's a lot of different ways you can use sage as well. Now, how do I use this? I like to put this in a candle and then burn the candle, but again, you don't wanna leave the candle unattended. And what it does is it kind of warms up the spice, warms up the sage, and it infuses the air with the energy and the scent of it. And then I also like to use this, I'll boil it in water and then I'll spray it all over my house or I'll sprinkle it all over my house. Or I will um, make sage bundles at home. I make mine myself and then uh, I'll wait for these to dry and then I'll burn the sage in my house. Now sage is extremely powerful and it's been used for so long to clear away negative energy. One of the ways that this lifts the energy of uh, a place or a person is by clearing away the negative energy. So what's already there that's not helping you and not serving you and not positive for you, it clears it away, it drives it away. Sage has been scientifically proven to clear away bacteria from the air. Sage is something that as soon as you burn it, um, you're kind of just, you've cleared the air. So after that, like the air is like your canvas and you can fill it up with whatever you want. So I would like burn the roses, or not burn roses, but like infuse the air with the scent of roses and then infuse the air with scent of oranges if you want to so right after you cleared the air away you can infuse it with like you know higher vibrating scents like that but the scent of sage is something that really uplifts my energy it really brings my energy into a higher state the scent of sage makes me focused it, it clears my mind and it calms the chatter in my mind and it allows me to get grounded and just be calm and like any negative energy around me, the scent of sage, I feel like it drives it all away. So sage is another very powerful one. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Share it with anybody that you think might need it. And if you guys want more videos like this, then leave me a comment down below what herbs you want to know about, um, what kind of things do you want to know about, like love, friendship, jobs, communication, um, money, prosperity. Those kinds of things, um, there's herbs that attract those things. And if you guys want a specific thing, 
let me know and I'll do a video about herbs that attract those things. Because um, I want to know what you guys want to know so I can make videos on what you guys want to watch. Um, also, I get a lot of questions asked on my hair. So I do cut my hair myself and I do color my hair myself and I have tutorials on my channel which I will leave linked down below. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching and keep your vibrations up and high and happy. Oh, before you go, if you guys have Instagram, follow me. I'll leave my Instagram name right here. But I want to know if you guys use herbs or if you guys use any of this, please take a picture and send it to me on Instagram so that I can see it because I would love to see how you guys are using this. It's so gorgeous to me when other people are using herbs and oils and um, flowers and just all this plants and natural energy to like bring up their vibration. It's fascinating to me. And I'll see you over on Instagram if you guys send me your pictures. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!